info on how you Good evening and thank you for joining us for Thursday's edition of BTW 21 News. Luis from our greeting you. We hope that you have had a great week so far. We're going to get right into the news and we of course want to uh, thank you for taking the time to be with us for this 30 minutes of news. So we start off with news in Franklin County in, Boons Mill, in the Boons Mill community to be exact where the sheriff's office is investigating after an individual approached a homeowner at of course this property and was fatally shot. Now, uh, we want to be clear that there is not a lot of information at this time because the Sheriff's Office has not released a lot of information, but you can count on BTW 21 News to continue to keep you posted. As soon as we found, find updates, we will bring those to you. Now, all of this occurred at around 9.28 p.m. on Wednesday, and that is when the Franklin County Sheriff's Office received a call for a shooting at a Boone's Mill residence alongside Virgil Good Highway. An unknown male presented the homeowner presented to the homeowner where an encounter occurred, resulting in the homeowner fatally, fatally shooting the male. Now that's according to the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. Units responded and located the deceased male, who was identified as 26-year-old Christopher Hill of Martinsville. Authorities said that this is an ongoing an investigation and there will be no further no further details released at this time. So again a quick breakdown. We understand that in the Boone's Mill community an individual appeared at the home of a homeowner there and uh, after an encounter with the sheriff's office that individual was shot and killed. And again that individual was identified as 26 year old Christopher Hill of Martinsville and again that is all the information that we were presented with during this uh, during, on this Thursday afternoon and we will continue again to keep you posted with updates. Switching gears to some positive news there have been uh, if I'm not mistaken uh, over 30 new businesses that have opened in Martinsville and Henry County since the pandemic and that you can add two to that because two businesses opened their doors. The first one that we're going to be highlighting took place at around 10 this morning and it was for Four Rivers Counseling that will be located and is located in the clock tower in Uptown Martinsville. Hello everyone, we're in Uptown Martinsville and we continue with ex exciting news here where there's uh, yet another ribbon cutting and uh, an exciting uh, practice has, that has opened its doors here at the Clock Tower in Martinsville and I'm joined with uh, the owner uh, Jenny who represents uh, Four Rivers Counseling. So uh, kind of tell us what is Four Rivers Counseling? Okay, so Four Rivers Counseling offers hybrid telehealth as well as in-person counseling sessions for children, teens, couples, and families right here in the clock tower or for, from the comfort of your home. Absolutely, and so uh, a very nice space that you have. Uh, again, individuals can come here or they do telehealth. What are um, some of the, I guess, uh, uh, I guess services that are offered within uh, an appointment? Okay, so we can have a one-on-one. -on -one. I can meet with your child or your teenager. We can have a family session, a couple session. It's all up to you and whatever the family needs and we can do it either via telehealth or in person. And the importance of you opening your practice and uh, you know with the pandemic we saw that everyone was isolated. Everyone had more time to think about uh, you know where they are personally um, so we kind of saw a height on the uh, individuals that were fighting um, multiple mental illnesses so how important is it for you to be opening and tackling those okay. so I feel like it's a mission for me I've always been an advocate for mental health as a social worker as a clinician as a mom as a human so this is my opportunity to give back to our community and step up to the fight for us fellow providers to get in there and help support our community. Absolutely. And tell us, uh, where are you located uh, and then hours of operation and how um, I would come to you and uh, seek an appointment? Okay. So I'm right here in the clock tower, which is behind the Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. 
close to the Starbucks. And so you can reach out to me on the 4RC Facebook page, or you can find our website through Simple Practice, or Google Jenny Yates LCSW, and I will pop right up on Google. Give me a call, send me an email, um, inbox me on Facebook, and we can work out an appointment very easily. Right. So tell me uh, anything that you want the public to know about uh, Fort Rivers Counseling and why they should um, seek help and not keep those things bottled up. Okay. It's essential. It's not selfish. It's self-care. And I know that there's still a lot of shame out there with seeking services, but I seek services myself. And I encourage my neighbors, my family, my friends to get support because we are still definitely in a pandemic and to be kind to each other. Thank you so much. And folks, uh, remember to take care of yourselves, as, as Jenny mentioned, and uh, make sure you, that you give uh, her a call and kind of test the waters and see if it's something that, that you could uh, benefit from. So stay tuned because we have another ribbon cutting that's going to be coming up later uh, today. Again, continuing to talk about exciting news and those individuals that have opened businesses in Uptown Martinsville and Martinsville and Henry County to be exact. There's another one and this one is called the Made in Martinsville store. It highlights uh, multiple products from individuals throughout Martinsville and Henry County and the region. Here's our interview with the owner of that shop. All right, welcome back, folks, uh, to coverage here in Martinsville, Henry County. Uh, exciting day. We had two businesses that opened their doors today officially, and uh, we're in Uptown Martinsville, continuing in Uptown Martinsville. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself uh, to the audience with you in, in the name of your business. My name is Forrest Forschmidt, and I am the owner of this new business, the Made in Martinsville store. Give us a little summary, a rundown of what uh, Made in Martinsville is and what it features. Well, the Made in Martinsville store, I'll just kind of back up to my little elevator pitch and, you know, around every corner in garages and workshops and kitchens in uh, Martinsville and Henry County, uh, people all over the place are making cool things. They're making things that you want, things that you need, things that you can use every day. And uh, I saw an opening here for a... Uh, a business with the mission of bringing those people forward and sharing all these great things with the public here. So I do local and regional art and crafts and products, um, everything from paintings to hang on the wall to uh, handmade, you know, kitchen implements and everything in between. So. Of course, and we talked about the arts, but uh, also we see, especially to your um, to your right, we see some items that can people can enjoy in their stomachs. Yes, so regional products like uh, Virginia peanuts and uh, some Amish jams and jellies and chow chow and salsas and that type of thing uh, from uh, more of a regional product from Parisburg. Um, and there's more to come. I found a. a local uh, barbecue sauce maker and uh, one of the local Mexican restaurants is going to bring in their salsas here. So um, all kinds of great stuff. Absolutely. And uh, when are you open and can you tell us the address here? The address is 105 East Main Street in historic Uptown Martinsville. And we are here Wednesday and Thursday 11 to 7, Friday and Saturday 11 to 8, and Sunday 11 to 5. Anything you want to add that, that you want the audience to know before we conclude? Uh, well, we are just getting started here. Uh, you know, people keep asking me, uh, well, are you ready to open? And my answer is, well, no, but let's do it anyway. So uh, we have a selection of stuff here, fun stuff here, and there's more stuff coming in every day. So um, come see what we've got. And if you don't see what you want, let me know. Maybe I can find somebody that makes it. All right, folks, so continue to support local, uh, a big variety of items that you can get here, uh, again, made in Martinsville. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot that we've covered, and yet there's more that has to be looked at and talked about. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we're going to be back with your weather report after these messages. Hi, Barry Nelson at Nelson Kia Subaru at Bassett Forks. We've got a 17 Focus, loaded, not stripped for only $209 a month. You want to roll in a soul? We got a 2016 soul for only $209 a month too. You want to ride style? We got a 2013 Volvo SUV 
again for only $209 a month. We got another good one, a 2016 Escape, $269 a month. All right, got a 2019 Colorado in pretty blue for only $334 a month. Got a 2018 Nissan Rogue for only $299 a month. We've got over 500 used cars ready for delivery. Come see us at Nelson Kia Subaru where everybody knows cars cost less. Hey, come see us at Martinsville Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Martinsburg Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsburg, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Call to get your time slot My name is Leanne Shelton. I'm a physical therapist assistant here at Therapy Direct. Therapy Direct is located on 301 Lavender Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 24112. Our hours are 8 to 5, Monday through Thursday, 8 to 2.30 on Friday. For more information, you can give us a call at 276 632 5281. Here at Therapy Direct, we value our patients, and your healing is our mission. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for staying with us for BTW 21. It is now time for your weather report, and this, of course, uh, is going to be the time for us to turn things over to Dustin Staples with a look at what you should be expecting for the rest of this evening and for the weekend. Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Happy Thursday to you, everybody. We hope you're doing well wherever you may find yourself on the start of the weekend. I'm Weatherman Dustin Staples. Appreciate your company. As always, it's an exciting weekend. It's football, and we are proud to bring that back here with you again for another year in a row. We're going to head over to the Bengals' house. That is Bassett. A big shout-out to Chad's hometown. He is born and raised there and proud to be a Bassett, a Bassettinian, Bassett resident. Let's put it that way. I don't want to get myself in trouble. But anyway, I uh, hope you'll be coming out tomorrow night at 7 p.m. as the Bengals are taking on the Franklin County Eagles. And so all of our high school football, Martinsville, Magna Vista, Patrick County, are also taking on other teams as well. So support local high school football while you're at it. So for the rest of today, if you're doing anything out and about, our temperatures are going to go from the 70s for the later on this evening hour. Mix is fair weather, clouds we'll see in partly to mostly cloudy sky coming in right there at 69 degrees with your temperature staying very cool and mild overnight. Some other area night temperatures for a mist of us. We are going to begin to see our temperature staying in the 60s out there with partly to mostly cloudy skies in effect with that. Uh, calm wind is expected with uh, just a partly to mostly clear overnight uh, developing temperature staying in the 50s to low to mid 60s. So not a bad night to take advantage of. For our area-wide Cyrity of Martinsville, here at the BTW 21 TV studio, we can expect our surrounding communities in Franklin, or excuse me, and uh, Axton, Ridgeway, uh, Bassett, Stanley Town, Fieldale, uh, those districts as well. No, no complaints with that. Maybe an isolated shower possible late in the day. Uh, temperatures in the upper 80s, so a pretty warm afternoon is in the making for us as well. So as you do things, if you're doing anything out and about tomorrow, maybe, of course, this is now the second full week for all of our area high, uh, high school and football underway. Well, the first full uh, week of Friday night football because uh, the last couple of weeks have been more scrimmage matches and benefit games. 
things of that nature. So as you see here, if you're heading out to wherever the, your teens may be playing, do check the high school uh, upstate website. Make sure that their school is traveling because I can be honest with you, I don't know who's playing who except for Bassett and Franklin County. So as the Eagles are traveling down 220 tomorrow, just outside of uh, Henry County here, you should be expecting some much calm conditions. Again, an isolated shower is possible for a lot of our um, regions. So if you're doing anything later tomorrow afternoon, just do know that there may be a pop-up shower, but it'll be short-lived to say the least. That's why we're getting it kind of generally to mostly to partly cloudy skies later throughout the day. So if you're doing anything across the weekend, just keep that in mind. Something else I want to quickly remind you of, pollen levels are on the rise again. We have a ragweed, um, chinapede, chinapod, excuse me, and grasses. So uh, a lot of the haze just recently wrapped up their bailing. So maybe if you suffer from hay fever or other additional allergies because all that pollen and that grass have just been sitting there over the last uh, couple of months, thanks to everything blooming and now everything is slowly dying off now as uh, we're ending the summer season. Kind of hard to believe on that note too and all important here is your friday night football forecast we'll break it down for you real quickly here uh, again 7 p.m kickoff time right there at the first quarter uh, it's coming in at 80 degrees so you should have a bad night expected maybe a stray shower or two but other than that thing should be pretty uh, kind of calm and quiet that should not be saying 7 p.m again my computer here had a mind of its own and wanted to do its thing so i tried fixing it i love technology so very much so this should be 8 p.m and then nine o'clock there so right now halftime not looking too bad uh, mid 70s and again we'll end the game right around 8 30 9 o'clock or so so again 8 p.m nine o'clock my computer wanted to freeze up on me again so uh, i love when uh, technology doesn't want to work at the finest way it does so ignore that so again first half of the game looking pretty good nothing to be weather worried about as you make your way later through the game hours too here is the rest of your weekend forecast as you do see here an isolated chance of a shower and storm on saturday temperature is pretty warm so near flirting near 90 so as i said we were not done with the 90s but we're right close to it though Humidity levels will also be back up again, so a pop and go shower is possible. Highs on Sunday coming in at 84 with an isolated chance and or shower or storm is possible. So other than that, uh, just keep the umbrella with you. Our overnight our temperatures at night kind of been near normal where they've been for the last couple of months. So uh, nothing to be or the last couple of weeks rather I shall say with that and uh, clear to partly cloudy skies each and every weeknight. Monday will bring back a possible pop and go shower and storm in the forecast. Your high coming in at 87, but again, just an isolated shower or storm chance is in the making as you do things. Uh, going into the final days of August right now, it does appear that we may begin to kind of say pretty um, warm and maybe cooling down for the Labor Day weekend. So. That'll be a benefit uh, for us because we really need to uh, kind of cool down. Uh, I personally think we have just been so warm over the last uh, couple of uh, months, thanks to it being summer, you know. So summertime, that's what you get. You get those high 80s and 90s and something else that we've been telling you a lot about is the drought. This is pretty impressive. I normally don't show this. I just thought I had to show this because Look how much color is on this map. That's a good thing. You want less color on the drought monitor. Our friends outside of South Hill and Emporia, uh, going outside of uh, Charlotte Courthouse and Pennsylvania counties, there are a little bit of a moderate drought, but you kind of see here, and then of course our friends just outside of Chesapeake Bay, Virginia Beach region, and a little tinted yellow there. But other than that, our temper or the drought monitor uh, has been uh, pretty good to say the least. Thanks to all of our daily chances of rain and showers and storms that we've been seeing, for the last several weeks, this is pretty good. So other than that, not in this little smidge of yellow here and a little bit out there towards the Chesapeake and Virginia Beach area, nothing to be complaining about as you make your way towards the upcoming uh, week ahead. So good job to all of our, our rain because that helped us out pretty uh, much to help us not be in a sufficient drought. I do wanna quickly wrap things up here. Um, as most of you know, we have, uh, you've probably been observing, if you watch me with my wardrobe here, I have a little pin on, the, on my uh, cloak, on my co coat here, excuse me. Uh, as you know, this Friday, the 26th of August, uh, as we lost a journalist and a dear friend of ours, that was Allison Parker and photojournalist Adam Ward. Luis and I, well, this is way, way, way before we got into TV here. Here I am, there's Luis. You know, Allison Parker, the belated, late, the late Allison Parker, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, uh, the incident ended a little too extreme uh, on that, uh, that shooting that occurred on August 26th at 645. 
on Smith Mount Lake Plaza, you know, showcasing a story, beautiful part of our region. So take some time this weekend to remember as uh, one fellow Martinsville High School. She was also a Martinsville Hall alumni and JMU graduate and of course pursuing her dream career. And look at here, I'm gonna step out of the shot. She is doing what she loved doing when she was doing it. So we're gonna say farewell for now and we will talk again next week. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zip My Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mount Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia. And our phone number is 276-647-5555. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. We've been here for 25 years now, and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned, so we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News. Uh, it is now time to take a look at those individuals that have been arrested and charged. Now uh, we do want to make sure that you understand that uh, our Apex Bail Bonds crime report is about a month behind and that is why you're just now hearing about this but that is when we get the information from the Sheriff's Office. So without further ado, here is your crime report. Ryan Garganius, 25 of Fieldale, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public. Jonathan Harris, 32 of Axton, Virginia, charged with simple assault against family member. Joshua Harris, 39 of Bassett, Virginia, charged with petty larceny. Kimberly Harris, 27 of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with purchase more than one handgun within 30 days. Peyton Losher, 22, of Henry, Virginia, charged with driving while intoxicated, first conviction. Isaac Leon, 31, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with reckless care for child. Chris Lynn Leon, 36, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with reckless care for child. 
Jeremy Marable, 25, of Danville, Virginia, charged with simple assault on law enforcement, fire rescue personnel, resisting arrest, obstructing justice by threats or force, maliciously discharged firearm, missile, in at occupied building, and convicted felon possessed concealed weapon. up you need a bondsman you can trust at your side at apex bail bonds in martinsville our agents are with you at every step not just the day you bond out need affordable bail you'll get the same low rates we offer in danville and reedsville apex bail bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the virginia carolina line provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. Welcome back and thank you for sticking along There's this 30 minutes of news. It is now that time in our newscast for Martinsville and Henry County obituaries. These, of course, are, as always, presented by our friends at Bassett Funeral Service. Lilia Nadine Ogburn, 63, of Martinsville, passed away Sunday, August the 21st, 2022. The funeral service will be Sunday, August the 28th at 3.30 p.m. at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. Visitation will be 30 minutes prior to the service. A floating visitation will be Saturday, August the 27th from 1 to 5 p.m. at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. Henry Earl Hopkins, 72, of Martinsville, passed away Monday, August the 22nd, 2022. The memorial service will be Friday, August the 26th at 2 p.m. at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. The visitation will be 30 minutes prior to that service. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting wrightfuneralservices.net. Naomi Beatrice Hart Smith received her heavenly wings and went home to be with the Lord August the 13th, 2022. The funeral will be held Saturday, August the 27th at 12 noon at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. A visitation will be held one hour prior to that service. Jimmy Lee Keith, 63 of Bassett, passed away Sunday, August the 21st, 2022. All services will be private. Wright Funeral Service is serving the Keith family. Online condolences may be made by visiting wrightfuneralservices.net. On June 2nd of this year, we will celebrate our 25th year of serving Martinsville and Henry County. 25 years ago, we started as a small funeral home. Then in 2008, we became one of the largest funeral homes serving Martinsville and Henry County. This spring, Bassett Funeral Service purchased some new property for our new crematory and also we'll be expanding our services into that building. We pride ourselves in our service. As in the beginning, uh, Bassett Funeral Service started at zero and over the few years we have become one of the leading funeral homes in the area and I think that is because we are providing a tremendous service to our families. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now that time to end the newscast. We hope that everyone has a great weekend. We'll see you for the BTW 21 News Weekend Review at 5 p.m. here on your neighborhood network. Um, I want to make sure that you know in case you haven't heard me. I've repeated it every single day, but in case you haven't, head on over to youtube.com slash BTW 21 News for a chance to win a $100 
gift card. We'll see you tomorrow.